middle child of President Joe Biden, Hunter Biden, seems to often be surrounded by scandal. Even now, the FBI is investigating him, and we know the 52-year-old has battled with some serious addiction issues in the past. Despite all of this and having somewhat of a tragic childhood, Hunter has always lived in stunning homes, from where he grew up to his upscale Washington, D.C. estate, and currently his Malibu rental mansion worth 20 k per month. Also, Michael and I have dropped our very own house tour of our new home that we moved into earlier this year. So subscribe to our personal channel if you want to see where we're living and more of what we're up to. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Hunter Biden is an attorney better known for being the second son of current US President Joe Biden. He also is an investor working with hedge funds, venture capital and private equity funds. Despite his list of credentials, Hunter is often the center of scandal, such as the current laptop controversy which has him being investigated by the FBI. But that's not what this video is about, and today we'll be focusing more on Hunter's real estate over the years, including his current Malibu rental mansion he's living at with his wife, South African model and filmmaker Melissa Cohen and their infant son. His home also boasts an art studio, which Hunter had apparently been putting to use working on his paintings. Hey guys, it's Kara the Vampire Slayer back with another exclusive house tour here on Famous Entertainment in this one checking out the homes of Hunter Biden. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit me up on Instagram to chat, and now let's get into this video. Hunter Biden was born in Wilmington, Delaware, but spent many of his early years in a gorgeous 1723 colonial mansion. While his parents, Joe and the late Nelia Biden, were the first living in Joe's parents' four-bedroom home in Falkland to save money, they eventually moved into their mini estate in Delaware in 1972 when Hunter was three years old and when Joe was elected junior senator. This five-bedroom mansion sat on three acres and boasted almost 5,000 square feet of space with features like five fireplaces throughout. Built in the 1700s, the property used to be part of a 200-acre plot that was later divided. And once the Bidens moved in, they made some changes, including extending the den. Tragedy rocked a young hunter's life first in 1972 when he and his elder brother, Bo, were injured in the car accident that took the lives of his mother and baby sister, Naomi. Sadly, Hunter's older brother would also pass away more recently in 2015 from a brain tumor. Hunter went on to study at Georgetown University, receiving a degree in history, and while here, he lived in Washington, D.C., working odd jobs. This was also reportedly when he started drinking more and doing drugs, marking the early start of his battles with addiction. Later on, after marrying his first wife, with whom he shares three children, Hunter went to Georgetown Law for a year before transferring to Yale and graduating in 1996. From then on, Hunter's career became closely intertwined with his father Joe's politics. Much like his father, Hunter also bought a historic estate in 1987 in Wilmington, Delaware, with the original home dating back to before the Revolutionary War. After renovating this home, he would sell it later for nearly double what he paid and move to Washington, D.C. with his family into a rental home. When he officially became a lobbyist in the early 2000s, Hunter would move again, this time back to Wilmington to be closer to the rest of the Biden family while commuting to Washington for work. In 2006, Hunter ended up purchasing a $1.6 million abode in a posh Washington DC neighborhood, but it was reported that because of this, he was having some financial issues. Apparently, Hunter didn't have enough for the down payments and took out a mortgage for 110% of the purchase price. Picturesque family home was spacious and well-kept colonial style spread with a wraparound driveway and tree shaded lawn. Located in Northwest Washington, D.C., Hunter's former house had four floors, along with 4,390 square feet of space throughout with five beds, not including the lavish master suite. There were also 5.5 baths, three wood burning fireplaces, and custom upgrades. 
Common spaces in the home were spacious and comfortable, including the grand living room, formal dining room, and Eden Chef's kitchen. The kitchen was nearly all white aside from the stainless steel appliances, touches of gray in the center island, and hardwood flooring underfoot that ran through most of the home. Here there was also a picture window overlooking the grounds as well as a cozy banquet dining nook. Elsewhere there was a family room with windows spanning almost or to ceiling that wrapped around the space, as well as another casual dining area. Hunter's former master suite has a large bedroom which opens to the elegant master bath, boasting features like heated floors, a dual vanity, soaking tub, and steam shower, while there were also two walk-in dressing rooms with windows and lit organizers. Back downstairs in the home, you'll also find a family room with fireplace, one of the guest rooms and baths, a screened porch, and more. In total, there were five five guest bedrooms, most of which had a neutral color scheme at the time. Rounding out the property was the outdoor space that had a lot of lush greenery, along with terraces, decks, and a sports court. Once Hunter and his first wife Kathleen finalized their divorce in 2017, they put this property up for sale at $1.85 million, selling it for $1.6 million. In 2018, Hunter decided to make the move to Los Angeles, and while it was said he purchased a multi-million dollar home in the Hollywood Hills, turns out that it was a rental he was paying 12 k a month for. This home was built in 1961 and designed by Buff and Hensman, boasting mid-century modern style and over 2,000 square feet with three beds and three baths. The Hollywood hideaway was just off of Mulholland Drive and could only be reached by a long gated driveway, providing ideal privacy. As you'd expect from the style of home, it was hallmarked by its floor to ceiling glass sliders to blend indoor and outdoor spaces, as well as minimalistic decor and an open floor plan. Not only did the property have amazing views of LA, they were directly visible through all of the glass in the home. When Hunter moved in, the home had been recently renovated to offer an all-new kitchen with top-of-the-line appliances and custom cabinets. There were also a handful of open and comfortable living spaces, as well as an office and plenty of inviting bedrooms. Outside, the home had a zen courtyard along with a wraparound deck plus plenty of terraces to take in the views of the San Fernando Valley or Dine Al Fresco. The swimming pool is further away from the home itself, Set down a foresty pathway and right above it is a glass cabana that one could use as an office or hangout space. At the end of 2020, Hunter decided to make moves from his Hollywood home, this time choosing a larger abode in the upscale Venice Beach area of California and this rental home was Canal Side. It said that this 3,800 square foot spread was costing him up to 25 k per month and it also had 2 beds and 2.5 baths. Interiors boasted a fresh all-white color scheme for the most part, and it was even more noticeable on the outside of the home. There were open-plan living spaces, along with a 25-foot high ceiling in the main room and in common areas, like the kitchen and dining room, there were pops of brown, beige, and red. Both of the bedrooms here were large enough to be primary suites, and each had a large spa-style bath attached, while one had its own airy lounge space that led to a petite courtyard with plunge pool. Then, the other bedroom spanned across the whole top floor of the three-level property and was complete with a sauna and spiraling staircase up to the rooftop terrace. While that home was lavish and all, since 2021, Hunter's current pad has been a rental in Malibu that costs a reported 20 k per month and has its own art studio. He moved into this home with his current wife Melissa and their infant son Bo Jr. and the spread offers up 4 bedrooms and 2.5 baths. Hunter claimed that he wakes up at 5 a.m. each day, stops in the kitchen to make himself some coffee, and then heads to the garage which is where the converted art studio is, as well as a table for his paintings. Hunter's newfound career at the time as a painter likely made this art studio feature quite the selling point. The garage studio has a brick floor as well as a skylight. Inside the home itself, there's an open floor plan which at this point we can see Hunter is a fan of and it also has plenty of views of the ocean. The main living room is indoor-outdoor style with pocket doors for easy flow, while there's also a vaulted ceiling and stunning floor-to-ceiling stone fireplace. There are solid oak floors in the common spaces as well as a nearly all-white kitchen with casual dining space. 
The bedrooms in the home follow a natural and laid back style like most of the rest of the place, with a lot of whites and some blue colored spaces to emphasize those ocean views. The private grounds are spacious with features like a stone patio for entertaining, built in barbecue, and swimming pool with spa and Baja shelf. Since Hunter is the president's son after all, he can't have the Secret Service too far away. ABC reported last year the agency was dishing out over 30 k per month to rent out the Malibu mansion next door, which also boasted a castle-like tower. While well, seeing as Hunter Biden's life is shrouded in controversy yet again, I wonder if he'll be switching up his living space anytime soon. I guess only time will tell. Well, that's gonna conclude this house tour. After looking at his many homes, what did you think? Be sure to let me know down in the comments as well as who we should feature next on here. Thanks for watching, hit that subscribe button if you haven't, follow me on Instagram if you want to chat and I'll see you all in another video. Bye!